All right. <clears throat> I think this is the point where I'm going to put it up on YouTube. So hi, YouTube. Welcome to the stream. Uh, I've been streaming. <coughs> sorry. Well, sick, of course, for an hour and a half. But basically what I did was I went back to Edgewater. And just did a bounty quest and did some general killing, looting and selling. I wanted to find a shotgun and a laser rifle. And also I found was the uh, plasma rifle rather. So I did find that, and I got the Shrink Ray from Phineas's lab, which is just free to get once you unlock the ability to travel. I did buy this plasma rifle from a vending machine, but I did not get to see a tactical shotgun, which is what I actually wanted to get. So I decided to do the bounty quest, which apparently I completely missed, and none of the enemies or vendors in uh, Terra 2 had any uh, shotguns at all, not even sawed off. So I'm just going to continue on with the story. And I'm hoping there's a tactical shotgun in a vending machine on Groundbreaker because I actually have a decent amount of money. So on YouTube, you didn't miss too much. We've arrived at the Groundbreaker. That's a space station. It looks more like a ship. And again, I guess I am used to watching Deep Space Nine, where the space station is a rotating ring. Hey, Captain. I heard the Groundbreakers got a real good engineer. A lady named June Lay Tennyson? I was thinking that maybe I ought to meet her. If you got time to swing this by, I mean. Always got time for your stuff, Bavardi. I don't experience fixing actual spaceships. I bet you can of Borston Beans, she could teach me all manner of stuff. Let's see. Thanks, Captain. I'll be sure to make it worth your time. Anything to make Pavardi waifu you happy. Talk about something else? Uh. Mostly, yeah. I lived in the maintenance office near all my life. Mr. Thompson never let me forget how funny that was. Wow, what a dick. He meant funny as in odd. It's not normal for anyone to do as their parents. You take a vocational test. That decides your schooling and your career. When I tested out for maintenance, everyone figured it was on account of my dad. They were real unhappy with us. Well, I'm good at making things work the way they ought. Not so much at doing such to somebody else's schedule. <laughs> There's times I'm working deep in the guts of a loader, getting it all running perfect. Then I look up to see it's tomorrow and I've blown another deadline. Anyhow, I, I was happy to get back home. I didn't care much for schooling. Yep, nothing much had changed. Everything was a little grayer, a little dirtier. Dad met me at the shuttle and gave me a big old hug. I noticed straight away that he was moving slower and stiffer. He made a little grunt when I squeezed. Oh. About a year. I tried to do more of the work so he could rest. His heart gave him pains. Dad never said that he loved me, you know? I, I knew on account of him showing it. How he'd stay up late to help with my projects or listen to my fretting. Oh, God. <laughs> Look at the time. Sorry to bend your ear so long. And I got so much to do before this ship's in decent shape. All right, break time's over, girl. That snivel was from me being sick, not from me being sad, by the way. Though that is a tiny bit sad. Alright, groundbreaker time. <laughs> you can lie to negotiate prices, I still love that. Does it? <laughs> you can intimidate. Look, you're gonna give me the best price, otherwise you're gonna have a bad fucking time. <clears throat> there we are. I still think it's funny how you can technically barter with a vending machine to get better prices. Oh, hey. Just checking your ship's manifest. 
standard procedure. Welcome to Groundbreaker, by the by. Don't mind the heat. Got a few days before it reaches critical. I'm sure Miss Chief Tennyson will get it sorted before then. You're named. I should be able to talk to you. Why am I not talking to you? God damn it. Just as I remembered. Nope. Not worth stealing. That's not the point. This halfwit just knocked out one of my workers. Yeah, with a toss ball stick, I heard you the first time. There weren't any witnesses. No witnesses? He's not even denying it. Jackass had it coming. Shut it, Felix. You're not making this any better. You get to with me again, you little back bay brat, I will toss you out an airlock. This is the groundbreaker, not Byzantium. You ain't the law here. I am. Now move along. I don't have time for this. I need a drink. <laughs> Hey, Felix. Going for a stroll around the docking base? Sure was. Got a knack for upsetting the board and the Mardettes all at once. Between you and me, I was hoping they'd come to fisticuffs. Uh. I had this foreman, right? Guy never liked me, always trying to get a rise out of me. But I keep my chin up, right? Be the bigger man, I tell myself. He's a spacer's chosen man, though. So when the Chosen beat my rangers the other night, my foreman comes swaggering up with his head full of boasting. And that's when you resolve your differences like an adult, right? No, you should defend the honor exactly. of your team. I was only doing what any self-respecting rangers fan would have done. You sound like the actual rangers hockey fan. <laughs> Guy thinks he can push me around because he's a sky-high foreman and I'm just a back bay's dock worker. Well, former dock worker. Guess I just tendered my resignation. Enjoy my freedom. Scrounge together enough bits for a zero G. Other than that, can't say as I do. Hey, not for nothing. But I saw you wander out of that ship over there by the dock. Wouldn't happen to be yours, would it? Captain of the Unreliable. Captain of the Unreliable. You're like something out of a serial drama. Hey, I don't want to talk your ears off, guessing you got places to be. I appreciate your time. I like this guy. Felix Millstone. Pleased to make your acquaintance. See you around, boss. I really like that guy, actually. Despite the fact he knocked someone out over a baseball game, essentially. Just arrived? Head over to customs. Wheeler needs to process you. What's my current quest? Passage to anywhere. I need to speak to Gladys. I also need to get the science weapon here, which I want to do. I have to introduce Bavardi to Tennyson. I have to find the security terminal for Max. I don't know where that acid seeper is, but I'm guessing it's somewhere here. Got a lot to do here. Not a lot of time. Nope, not worth stealing four bits. A couple stevedores. Quite a few stevedores, actually. Alright, it doesn't seem like there's anything interesting over here. I hope there's not, otherwise I'm missing it. At first I thought Mardit was an actual name. Yep, Stevedore, alright. Right I'll be quiet. You still don't have a tactical shotgun and it upsets me. Revolvers, grenade launchers, assault rifles, plasma rifles, levers. You have no idea how much this upsets me. Hi. Identification, please. Captain Hawthorne, you said. Let me apologize in advance. I'm about to ruin your day. According to your ship's record, you've been flagged by the board. Your ship will be impounded until such a time as they see fit to lift it. Oh, that's great. But we've hardly been out of Edgewater long enough to get in trouble. Well, isn't this wonderful? The captain's done something to get on the board's bad side. I didn't do it. Now, hold on. This isn't the end of the world. Probably. 
How do I get this resolved? You'll want to take it up with Udom Bedford, our board representative here on Groundbreaker. His office is located along the starboard wall of the promenade. Shines like a Byzantium commode. You can't miss it. Access to that information is above my pay grade, and I've turned down three promotions, so it stays that way. Really? I shouldn't be mentioning it, but what the hell? This here, impounding your ship, it doesn't happen much. The board knows we don't take kindly to their interfering in our operations. If I had to take a guess as to why, you must have riled up someone important. You take the starch out of them, well, you won't hear any complaints from me. Oh, and if you're headed that way, would you mind doing me a favor? I don't do favors. Wanda Dorset over in Sick Bay, tell her the shipment's not in yet. It's not coming in anytime soon, and if she'd be so obliged to get off my ass about it. Ah, a handful of Sam cleaning units retrofitted for surgery. I don't know much else. I stopped listening when she started yelling. <laughs> I like this guy. Much appreciated. Is there anything else I can help you with? The fence. You'll find her in the rest and go. On your left when you enter the promenade. Make sure you bring an empty belly. Okay. Hey. Maybe. Most of the shipping traffic in the system passes through Groundbreaker. Every couple of months, we even get a big interstellar freighter. Two biggest operations are the board. That is, Halcyon Holdings and Sublight Salvage. But there are independent operators around the promenade deck. Most of those jobs are going to take you off station, though. Well, then I can't do that right now at the moment, you but... My leg? Goes like this. Back on Earth, before the crossing, the powers that be were selling off stakes in distant star systems they thought had potential. A bunch of companies decided to throw in together and form the Halcyon Holdings Corporation, then buy up the rights to this here colony. That group's what we now call the Board. So they run the system. Yep. Groundbreaker's the only real independent port. Aside from us, there's just tramp freighters and wildcat miners. Seems like every year the board's offices get bigger and their ships take up more of the landing base. Haven't seen nearly as many tramp crews this year. Groundbreaker was one of the original colony vessels to come over on the crossing, a few years before her sister ship, the Hope. Once everybody'd been dethawed and dropped dirt side, the original crew of the Groundbreaker decided they rather liked the spacefaring life. I guess that was the start of our independent spirit. Now, here we are. I like these guys. I hope there's money in it for me to help them. Sitting around, drinking whiskey and smoking cigars, yeah, probably. Can't say for sure, of course. Doubt I'll ever see the inside of it myself. Glad to help. Commandant Sanita might have a couple of folks she needs killed. Bad folks, I mean. Not, uh, regular <laughs> folks. She'll be at the security desk behind me. Chief Jun Lei might have an errand needs running. She's all tied up trying to fix our heat problem. You'll find her in engineering. No kidding? I'd love to get a look at this old girl's innards. I bet they're real twisty and weird. In a good way. And she's into some fucked up shit. Happy to help. That's my job, after all. You're real good at it, too. Well, thank you, miss. It's nice to be recognized. Yep. Can we move this along? I have a certain, uh, matter I'd like to attend to, Captain. Relative to the board holdings? Not really. I'll move along when I'm ready to move along, Max. I will exhaust all dialogue options. Not likely to look too close at your work history either. They strip the parts from derelict ships and abandoned outposts. There's some that say they make the derelicts and encourage folks to abandon their steads. Sublight gives me the creeps. I've known folks who went to work for them and just vanished. They're on the promenade run by a woman named Lilia Hagen. I'm only telling you so you know to avoid them. All right. All right. All right. Uh, so what can you tell me about Bedford? He's friendly enough unless you speak ill of the board. Get the sense he doesn't care for Groundbreaker much. Not that he would, being a board man and all. He's our liaison. Sounds like a fun guy. They can't abide an independent township, especially not one they gotta depend on. We're the first and last stop out of this colony. All their interstellar freighters come through us, 
and we skim a few bits off the top and manifest processing fees with every one. Folks around here will bluster that the board hates our freedom, but really, they know we can stop their out-system shipments anytime we like, and that terrifies them. It's good for competition, too. You mean the heat? Sure, we can make them fix it. But what would they do in retaliation? They got assault cruisers, gunships, and a handful of mining operations at their fingertips. We push them too hard, maybe they decide we'd be better in 10 trillion little pieces. Or they cobble together a new groundbreaker and put us out of business. The board wouldn't do that, would they? Yes, they would. The board is necessary to provide order to the colony. They believe it's their prerogative to overrun you. But whether you allow that is up to you. It's a tough line to walk, no doubt about that. But we may do all right. So far, anyway. I like this guy a lot. <clears throat> Be seeing you. Hi. Unless you're here to file an incident report or to inquire about the bounty posting, I must kindly ask you to clear out. The Mardet's offices aren't for leisure time nor loitering. What bounties are available? Got a hot one for you. Captain Gunner McRed. Just 26 hours old. Uh, the posting, that is. Not the criminal. <laughs> Uh, allegations include several counts of flying under the influence, carrying open alcoholic containers, failure to pay docking fees, resisting arrest, and assaulting not one, but two officers. So he'd be dead? I can see why he's wanted dead or alive. Dreadful, ain't it? Such blatant disregard for order. It's a real problem in the youth these days. It's true enough that he ain't particularly deadly, but the interest on each fine being compounded as they are means he'll be paying with his life insurance. Only way to cover it. Last tip we got pointed toward the back bays. You want the reward? Do the legwork. I'll take the posting, why not? You and about six other enterprising mavericks. It's only a matter of time before someone brings me McRed's head, or his lucky lighter, as proof of kill. I do hope you're the lucky hunter, though. Good luck and skip speed to you. I like her. I could probably root around in here and try to find some nice things like a shotgun, but... Oh, I just walked through here. I'm a doofus. <laughs> I'm a doofus, I'm a doofus, I'm a doofus. That's a restricted area, and I don't have the lockpick to get through it. Now, how do I use that thing? The holographic shroud. Oh, I can't equip it, so it must be a tutorial I have to do. I think I actually have to go through customs. Damn it, Max. Ah! Ah, my feet! My poor feet. Spent 28 years growing these feet. Fuck. Uh oh. This is it. Security. I can check the departures registry to find out which crew changed. I mean, stop. Shipped in and out with. Here we go again. No one lives on Monarch. So how do I use the disguise then? No, seriously. There was a lot of static at first. I would love to use this disguise, but I don't know how yet. If I just walk in, they're just gonna shoot me, right? Then this voice said his name was... I wish I knew how to use the goddamn disguiser thing. Where would that be? Stealth? Holographic Shroud. Smile. 
Huh. Well, I'm not going to risk it. Carry on. Yeah, I ain't risking that. Not until I know how to actually use it. Why do none of you have shotguns? The board would like to remind spacers and other travelers that passage to Monarch is restricted for long. Oh hi, free stuff. I mean I'll take it definitely. How the hell do I get to this lady? Oh hi! Try not to be distracted by the glare of the adverts. Lots of unsavory types about. Well then. This place is nice. When might we expect you out here again? Canned surfish is already sold out again. Who knows? Halls are scarce. How do you do? And uh, welcome to the rest and go. We used to be the go and rest, but folks never knew when to leave. Huh. Sorry. Business has been slow. Anything to occupy the time. Oh, you can't miss her. Right behind you, number two. First unit on the left, or second unit from the right, depending on which direction you count from. I love the dialogue in this game. I believe you are a guard. As you were. Hello, Gladys. Gladys. Bless my heart. A stranger come knocking on a poor old woman's door. You here for a particular reason? Or did the neighbors tell you how good my sugar cookies are? Made without a single natural ingredient or an oven. <laughs> just like store bought. Huh. I've got a lovely little throw pillow. Just something I toss together. Like to keep my hands busy. What do you have to sell, actually? Your stock is completely fucking restricted, which is useless. Ooh, hi. Uh, whew. Hailstorm of corrosive bullets? That looks nice. I wish I could afford that. Everything you have is restricted. God damn. I'll buy these because I need them. See, what are these? Quests? Yeah, is this mining outposts? Sure, grab these. I don't know if I've really got anything to sell. Critical damage for a barrel, that's pretty good. Alright. If you're here for this week's magazine club meeting, you're a Oh damn, I was hoping to get that. Oh well. Those have been the height of illegality since Stellar Bay turned their noses up at the board. You and I could be thrown to the void just for discussing such a transaction. Lucky for us, Groundbreaker's a free port. We're outside of the board's control. For the time being, at least. Now, I only have the one nav key. And they're hard to come by these days. Hmm. It won't be cheap. If you find yourself lacking in the bits, I might have an opportunity you'd be interested in. Ten thousand. Hmm. 
Phineas, that old kook. He was quite the dancer back in his prime, did he tell you? Real light on his feet. Real light in the wallet, too. Huh? He still owes me a small fortune. Laws. Maybe I should charge you double. Oh, sure, that's great. Thanks. So tell me about the opportunity. I find I'm in need of a ship captain with a little... moral flexibility. Might be this could help out the groundbreaker, as well as earn some bits. But if you've got qualms... What are morals, but, uh... Yeah, what are morals, actually? Do you know Edna over in engineering? Sweet as a pea, that one. On occasion, she'll pass along transmissions I might find interesting. She sent me a recording of a distress signal she'd scraped from the Groundbreaker's comm array. Curious thing is, it came from an outpost called Roseway. And Auntie Cleo abandoned that place years ago. Huh. Can't say I know for sure. Maybe it never really was. Sounds like someone poking into somewhere they shouldn't be got into a spot of trouble. Comm centers don't operate themselves, Captain. Someone had to have sent that distress call manually. Those corpses are cleverer than all get out. Might have been a ruse to keep the rest of the board from sniffing around. Hmm. You've got an ear for intrigue and a nose for bits. I like that. Here's a copy of the SOS recording complete with the coordinates. If you should find a secret worth selling, might be I could find a buyer. Corporate bigwigs will pay top bit for inside information on their competitors. As long as it gets me the, the nav key. Got the corpse fighting each other, the less time they got to meddle in our affairs. Don't forget to come find old Gladys when you're done. <coughs> Sorry. Might want to acquaint yourself with Junlei Tennyson, Groundbreaker's chief. She's been trying to get a handle on this heat problem we've got. You'll find her fretting in engineering. I'd say she's a sweet girl, but law for fen someone call me a liar. Oof. Thank you for your time. Sweetheart. You know where to find me. Oh, she gave me candy. I love this lady. I was thinking about shooting her in the face for giving me the runaround, but... Hey, it's tactical shotgun. Two of them. What else we got? Automatic pistols. Give me, give me, and I'm out of usable money. So what would I get rid of? I'm probably never going to use the grenade launcher or the boulder pistol, actually. I know I put stuff into both of these, but mostly money. Uh, I should probably look into getting some more heavy ammo and more energy ammo. Rip my money. Oh, 24 armor helmet? What does my current helmet give me for, uh... For perks? Gives me jack shit for perks. Doink! Ah, much better. Now, uh, what do you wear for armor on your head? There you go. That would have increased his science a little bit, but eh. What do you wear for armor on your head? 18 light plus science? Yeah, okay. 18 light armor? Where the hell did I find that? <laughs> All right. Now we go to engineering to introduce waifu to her mentor. Oh, space. Oh, God. Well, sorry about the heat. Chief Tennyson will get the radiators fixed soon. Of course, this heat sure makes a zero G brew extra refreshing. It's an ale that's good for what ails you. Oh, and it's not the best choice. It's 
Spacer's choice. He sounds so unenthusiastic. A lot of slogans to keep track. Heard of it? My orientation aether wave showed that famous Saltuna cannery. That's true. Yeah. That took a while for that voice line to kick in. That's a spacious choice, dear. Take what you have, polish it up, and make the best of it. So, what can I get you? Some soap. Everyone loves soap. Everyone will love you for using it, too. <laughs> have a look. I'm running low on money here, so I can't buy too much. Oh, he's selling Moon Man helmets. Nice. <laughs> Skill bonus for lying. I love it. Bunch of light armor that's basically useless. Oh, he's got some dodge and stealth heavy armor. What's my current armor look like? I think it's 11 medium tech skills backpack. I don't have another backpack too, so until I find armor that's really good, I'm just going to keep what I have. You listening to me, Emperor? You can't get me out of there. Please don't make a scene, Dr. Fenhill. I am not making a scene. Hi. I'm sorry. Am I causing a scene? Oh, you're cute enough to cause a scene, so it's fine. We could have avoided all this unpleasantness if you just let me talk to Jesse in the first place. Ellie is so damn cute. Let me get one thing straight. Jesse and I are not friends. I just owe her, okay? Who I that? The rest, I'm trying to figure that out. All I know is that she's been here too It's long Reddit Factorio. Receiving visitors. <laughs> Be my guest. If you know something I don't about dealing with hospital bureaucracy, I'll be impressed. What seems to be the problem? I'd like to see Jesse. If only my other patients had so many inquiring after them. I'll tell you what I've told the others. The records say Ms. Doyle checked herself in and requested I admit no visitors. The requests of our patients are paramount. The records say, have you actually spoken to her? She's not my patient. I'm certain no one on my staff would falsify patient records, if that's what you're implying. Damn. Not without dispensation from Chief Jun Lei, I fear. So... We don't have the ability to manufacture our own medical supplies here on Groundbreaker. Regrettably, we are dependent on the board for such mundane items as bandages and antibiotics, as well as more critical resources like adequately trained staff. We'd nearly signed a supply agreement with Anticleos, but they demanded we only use their branded drugs, and that's simply not tenable. Take care. All right, so I just botched that. Good luck getting to Jesse, and better luck if you do. I'm just gonna walk in. Hi. How's it going? Hi. Can't say I've seen you before. I take it you're a freighter, Captain? Something if like you that. You better yourself, you'll have to wait. We're having a spot of trouble with our delivery service. Ah, huh, spot of trouble. That sounds like money to me. He must be referring to Erion. I'm sure the fool's gotten himself into another scrape. I'm beginning to wonder if I'm ever going to get my service mechanicals at this rate. I'd be grateful if you'd spare the time. We need his delivery soon as yesterday. Last he told me, he was taking a shortcut by Scylla, an asteroid in the Charybdis cluster. That's where I'd start, were I the adventuring type. You look out, though. The place is probably crawling with outlaws. Outlaws equals loot. Keep hanging around. What can I do for you? Okay. So, no dialogue for you. Uh, you might want to clean up that blood. That ain't sanitary. Just saying. <coughs> a 
I wish I knew how to use the goddamn uh, disguiser. Leave him to me. Oh shit! Hit the wrong goddamn button. <laughs> <laughs> 